What's up everybody, Father Win Itachi here, you know what it is, and I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in to another Pokemon Go guide. Today we are going to be going over Pokemon Gyms, and as you can see there's two gyms near me, one is blue across the street, and the current one that I am at is yellow. I am currently Team Valor, and the way you get to choose your team is by reaching level 5, so you won't be able to do anything with gyms until you have reached level 5, and this is where the actual battling takes place. So when you go ahead and click on one of these gyms, you'll notice that it'll ask you, the professor will come up and it'll ask you, which team do you want to choose? And then you'll go from there. There's Team Instinct, which is the yellow team right now that I am next to. There's Team Mystic, which is the blue team, and Team Valor, which is the red team, which is what I am. So, we're going to go ahead and adventure into this gym, and I'm going to go ahead and showcase to you what to do. On the top left, you'll notice the actual location of the gym. As you guys can see, I'm at the Sanctuary Church. The gym level basically states how much prestige you guys have earned, and in order to earn prestige, you can fight at your own gym and boost up your defense by defeating and fighting at your own gym. It'll boost your prestige experience points as you can see they currently have 8,000 out of 12,000 here and the more prestige experience points that you earn the higher your gym level will be and the higher your gym level is the more Pokemon you can actually put at this gym sadly there is an Arcanine at 713 and there is no other Pokemon as you can see there is a yellow crown just underneath gym level 4 and there's three grayed out circles they would usually be white and I'll go ahead and see if I can show you across the street from here uh, what it would actually look like if you have multiple Pokemon. As you can see, this one of uh, the circles are actually white. As you can see, there's a Rhydon here. They're at level 3, so they can host 3 Pokemon here. And then it also shows you the actual character uh, who is running this Rhydon. And then you can go ahead and swipe your screen and you'll see a new character with a Jolteon and a new character with a Venomoth. The highest CP is the one that actually gets the crown and controls the gym. The other two are just bodyguard backups that help you fight along. So it does take it harder and it is much harder to take over a gym with multiple Pokemon in it. But that's just how it works. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like to actually battle. So we're going to go ahead and try to take on this RK9. I'm not too sure how well it is going to go, but let's go ahead and check this one out. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the combat of two Pokeballs on the bottom right. I'm able to select six different Pokemon. I'm going to start off with my Golbat because type-wise it isn't too bad against an RK9. My Marowak is probably going to be second. Yes, it is. My Persian third. Uh, I'm not too shabby about my Nidorino being fourth. I'm going to go ahead and switch him into the fifth position. And I'm going to stay with the Ponyta as well. I do not have that many water type Pokemon. I, do, I haven't gone to the water that much. And I do have a couple of water types, but they are not great combat power wise. So this is my squad for now. Not too bad. Uh, nothing weak against fire types and nothing too super strong but I do have some ground types which are strong against uh, fire types so we're going to go with this team. There's methods of dodging and there's methods of attacking. In order to attack you have to spam on your uh, Pokemon. Just spam click it and if you want to use its special ability which is the second ability that it gets all you have to do is hold onto your Pokemon. Hopefully it loads. It does take usually a while to load and then we'll be able to go ahead and show you the actual battle itself. As you guys can see this gym is different from last night. It is a level 2 gym with one Vaporeon at CP 952. I do not have much of a team that is going to be able to take this on sadly. So we're going to have to deal with what we've got. Hopefully we can kill them. It will be a 6v1 battle, but that doesn't mean anything. We're actually going to start off with a different strategy here. We're going to start off with a Flareon and a Marowak. And the reason being is they're my two mediocre Pokemon with CP wise. But the fact that I'm starting off with them is just to get as little and enough damage as possible. And the reason being is they are both weak to water type. Ground types weak to water and fire types are weak to water. If you're interested in seeing a video on how type matchups work and you're new to Pokemon, go ahead and post down below. I'm going to throw my Nidorino because he is my weakest out of the six CP wise, but he is not weak uh, when it comes to the actual combat himself. Um, we are going to throw in Pidgeot. And then we'll end off with Golbat. Golbat's my strongest one right now. These are my six strongest, but this is the order I'm going to do it in. If we lose, we lose. I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys in this video how gym battles work and how the actual gym user interface is all about. 
not here well of course we're here to win but we're not here to be super pro right now we will definitely get to that point once we start playing the game a little bit more but let's go ahead and kick it off with a flareon hopefully this battle yes it did load yes all right spam click on that flareon all right so it's pointless to dodge the basic attacks and flareon's probably just gonna die use water pulse use water pulse all right you didn't use you didn't even use water pulse. oh my gosh you started off already when he uses water pulse that's when i've got to dodge 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 use your dig ability it's gonna pause the game for a little bit but let's keep going bro let's keep going that dig did okay damage but uh, we're going to keep going with our main attack. It is super effective. And they didn't do too bad. We're going to go ahead and jump it into Anita Reno. He just got... Oh, dodge, 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 dodge. Go ahead and use your dig ability as well. And then we're going to pause this one. It's basically a little pause attack. And it does a decent amount of damage. But it's not enough because it is a ground type. Now we're going to go into Persian. Hopefully Persian can go ham. But then we got to worry about that water pulse. Hopefully it's using the water pulse now. Now we can dodge. Now we can dodge. Then load up our attack. Oh my gosh, he got it off. I thought I was dodging that one. Alright, I guess I wasn't. Uh, Pidgeot. Okay, dodge, 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 dodge. Go ahead and use your aerial ace ability. Keep attacking, keep attacking, keep attacking while it's stunned, while it's not doing anything. One more aerial ace, one more aerial ace before you die. And... Oh, just get this aerial ace off. Yes, you're going to die anyways from this water pulse. Alright, it's in the red. Go bat. It's all up to you, bro. It's all up to you. Come on, come on. Keep spamming, keep spamming, keep spamming, keep spamming. Thumb is going freaking ham right now. The thumb is about to collapse. The thumb is about to go down. All right, use your, use your secondary ability. All right, using water post. Dodge this. Oh, did I? No. How? No. How did I lose? It's all right, though. I mean, how did I lose, man? I was so all over that. I was so all over. Imagine if I was actually at his level. Imagine if I was at his level. I would have just absolutely raped th that gym. But until next time, I'm going to show you guys my losses and my wins. I'm not that type of YouTuber who just spams his compilations and winning streaks. But uh, yeah, this was a guide. Sadly, I lost in this guide. But it did show you guys what I wanted to showcase to you. How the gym battle is all about. And this you lose screen is starting to piss me off. And then once you have lost a battle, you go ahead and go to your bags. Or once you have done a battle, actually, some of your Pokemon have fainted. So you're going to have to use your revive. Sadly, I'm going to have to use a ton of them here because... All six of them have fainted, but it's not that bad. I mean, once I start getting there, once I start getting uh, CP or my combat power up, again, I have a lot of Stardust that I can be wasting, and then once you have revived all your Pokemon, you're going to have to use your potions in order to heal them up all the way to max after that. So, for those of you that tuned in, thank you very much for tuning in. Again, sadly, we did get a loss. I am sorry about that, but we were trying to kill a over 900 CP Vaporeon with some Pokemon that are in, like, the 200s, and two of them are weak against water. But I think I did pretty damn decent myself there. But thank you very much for tuning in. Stay tuned for some more guides, more Poke Vlogs, more Pokemon content videos. Peace out.